Hey there, I just wanted to pop on and show you, I'm gonna share my screen in a moment, about what's happening in the market in Shelby Township, uh, the market of 48315, or zip code. And I wanted to say that if you're waiting for the market to crash, I'm not seeing it crash. I'm just not seeing it crash. So you can wait around. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's gonna happen. But from what I can see, homes are on the market. They're still selling for more. Um, but if you're priced accordingly, you're going to sell for more, obviously more than your asking price. So inventory is down. Yes, but there are still ways. So if you're interested, pay attention, watch what I'm talking about here in the next, I don't know, next three or four minutes. So, okay guys, thanks for listening. Okay. So I wanted to share a little bit of the market stats. For October, this is area code 48315, which is Shelby Township. I am looking at all price ranges in 48315, residential, not condo. Um, for all price ranges, residential, all sizes, whether it's on a pond, a uh, water or not. Right now in October, our average sales price, if you can see that, 578045. Let's do this. Let's add the condo in or take the residential out and add, just put the condo. And for a condo, we have, oh my goodness, I have to put my glasses on. We have 265,411. So as you can see, that's significantly less. But I wanted to go over some other things here. Um, I want to show you days on the market. All right, and this is one year, obviously. This is back to, uh, we'll add the condo in. So it's all price ranges, residential and condo. And we are looking at 18 days on the market for October. September, we had 17, so it's up a little bit. Uh, and this makes sense. You know, you go into the winter months or the fall months, and it usually rises. July, um, May, it was down. But we still see... Um, a decrease or an increase, shall I say, from last year because the market has definitely slowed down. Um, but anyways, those are, oh, that would be the median day on the market. Let's look at the average days on the market, 36. Okay, so that makes a little bit of a difference. But we're kind of popping around the same thing here because the market's a little bit in flux right now. And that, like I said, is to be expected. Um, let's look at um, pending sales right now. So in 48315, there's 155 pending. This would include rentals because I have all price range. So pending is pretty much obviously due to close. So it was active before and now it's pending. Let's talk about the percentage of list price to close price. Um, so in October of 2023, sellers are pretty much getting Let's go, that was a median. Let's do the average. Sellers are getting basically 100, 100%, 100.5%. So they're getting a little bit more. If you look back in January, it was 101. Uh, June of last year, it was 101. So this is about right. Obviously, it's still um, over 100%. So the median or the average is that. Uh, month supply, let's look at that. So 2.3 months, meaning if no other new properties came on the market between now um, or right now to the next 2.3 months, it would take 2.3 months for the current stuff on the market to actually sell. So um, what else can I show you? We did days on the market shows per listing. This should be down also 6.8 uh, was 6.7. So per six, almost seven showings, then it goes pending. So that, that sounds kind of right. So um, I like looking at this because it shows us the trends. Okay, percentage of list price. Uh, we did that already. But I like to see the trends. You know, we could go, if we go like this, if we take the sales price, I can change this from one year to three years to look back. Okay, so look at this, 401, the average sales price with the condo and the residential in there. All right, so if we wanna go back to October of last year, September, October of last year, 447. So 461, just like everything, real estate, it increases in value. So the point of this is here that I wanted to show you is that 
you, if you plan, if you buy a house and you plan to stay there five to seven years, even five years, I'm saying it's a pretty good bet you're going to make some money. So I do not do not have a crystal ball and the world is really kind of crazy right now. But on the whole, I believe that um, it's always been a good deal to invest. So anyways, I just wanted to share a little market stats with you. And um, that's pretty much about it. Have a great day.